Hi, I'm John, and welcome to Meat Hall. Good evening. Well, in case you're wondering, what are we doing here in our tasting room at night? Two of our friends just dropped by with a treasure from their own personal meat hall, Magpie Meat. This has been sitting with them for about seven to 10 years. It bounced around with a few moves, and Magpie Meater is from Bainbridge, New York. He was a medieval reenactor in the Society for Creative Anachronism, and his mead was so good that he exploded out of the hobby level and into commercial production. I'm really excited about this. Magpie Meads is a small batch production, and so that means they could put maximum effort into their bottles. Being that this is aged for seven to 10 years, I'm excited to see what real liquid gold tastes like. What we have today is cherry. I mean, this is like, a real inauguration of our meat hall. That's something, that's one of the comments that people have been saying is like, holy <laughs> what a pour. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, that's the pour. Of course that's the pour. That is thick. What a beautiful blood red color. So this is a dark, fruity meat. Oh wow, that's like cherry juice right out of the bottle. I'm excited. This is exciting. This is what alcohol sitting for a long time will do. It's so mellow, it's so smooth. The cherry isn't sweet, it's tart. I mean, it's fruity. You can definitely taste the, uh, the fruit element of it, but the, this tart cherry, it's so beautiful. It reminds me of dark chocolate cherry cordials, the ones that aren't sweet. Are you crying? John! <laughs> This is the kind of mead that I aspire for my mead to taste like. It's blended, it has a complexity of flavor that there's sweetness, there's tart, there's a bit of yeast flavor that it's been imparted, maybe it's a spice. All natural ingredients and bottled and produced all by himself. This is really... <laughs> your phone. Seriously? <laughs> Cut. This is the first Mellow Mel that we've reviewed on our channel, which is a mead that's made with both honey and fruit. We're seeing a lot of sediment in this bottle because of the tannins in the cherry. Magpie uses minimal filtration. Thanks for coming out tonight. Again, we always appreciate your comments, your likes, subscribe. I'm just so blown away by the generosity of my friends and Thank you all so very much, and thank you for allowing us to open this, yeah, and uh, opening it on camera, and you've been keeping it safe for... We didn't know for what, but we just... We didn't know it. for what, but this was the thing. This was it. Merry Christmas. Happy Yule. <laughs> thank you so much. I brought some candles. Maybe we'll get electricity in here soon, huh? huh. We'll see about that.